I hope you're having a great day. It's been a, it's been a while since I've gone live and I've been busy with work, but I've also missed going live and interacting with all of you. Today, I want to teach you a simple breathing technique. I've not invented it. I've learned it over the years. It continuously works with our people around the world. I've talked about it before and many of you already practice it. It's simple, but we forget the simple things because life sometimes gets complicated. Life gets too fast. And then the human mind is trained to look for complication and sophistication over simplicity. So small reminders again, because today I had three patients who were practicing this particular box breathing and they sleep better at night. It helps them with indigestion. When they're feeling overwhelmed, anxious, they do this breathing and they immediately feel better. The science is simple. When we breathe the right way, our cortisol levels, which are our stress hormones, tend to come down. We can trick the body into thinking that nothing much is happening at a cellular level. I may have stress in front of me right now, but because I'm controlling the way that I breathe, there may be stress outside, but my body, because my cortisol levels don't shoot up, I remain and stay in homeostasis. I can stay in the parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest and digest. All healing, regeneration, repair happens only when we are in the parasympathetic nervous system, when we're in the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight and flight response, anger, stress, negativity, the body's on alert. It doesn't do the job of regeneration, repair, digestion, all of that is shut off. So let's quickly go over the breathing technique again. It's simple, do it at your own pace. I'm gonna use the number of seconds as an example. So let's say I'm doing a box breathing technique of four, 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 four. What does this mean? All our breathing exercises should be practiced with a straight back. So in case, unfortunately, you're in a wheelchair, you can put a little pillow or cushion behind the small of your back and the wheelchair that, so your back is aligned if you can. If you're unfortunately on bed or you cannot get out of your bed or you're bedridden, you can also do this breathing technique lying down flat. So remove the pillow from under your head and you can still do the breathing exercise. How do we do it? Okay, I take a four second inhale through the nose. I hold for four seconds, I take, a four, I take four seconds to exhale, and then between the end of the exhale and the beginning of the next inhale, I hold for four seconds. That makes it a box. So inhale, hold, exhale, hold. That's a box. Now four seconds is difficult, you can do three seconds. You can do a three inhale, a three hold, a three exhale, and a three hold in between your last exhale and the beginning of your new inhale. That's box breathing. By the time you've done the sixth repetition, you're gonna feel a calmness. This is guaranteed. There are not many things in life that you can guarantee, but this is one thing that you can guarantee. Try it, try it right after this. And you're gonna feel calmness. Where is that calmness coming from? Because you've just moved into the parasympathetic nervous system. So this can help you sleep better at night because there's no magic around sleep. If we're in the sympathetic nervous system, we can sleep. If we're in the sympathetic, no if we're in the parasympathetic nervous system, we can sleep. If we're in the sympathetic nervous system, it is practically impossible to sleep. We've got to force ourselves to sleep. So using box breathing, you can use it wherever you are in the world, wherever you are, whenever you feel like doing it, make it a habit. How do we build habits? Through repetition. Because I keep practicing it over and over again, I don't have to remind myself. And anything that makes, do I need to remind you if you like that morning cup of coffee? Okay, do I need to remind you to have it? No, you enjoy it, that's why you have it, right? So the point is, whatever we do with repetition becomes a habit. So I want you to try this and see exactly, exactly how it works for you. Teach this to your children as well. Because when they learn it at a young age, like we learn multiplication tables at a young age because it gets into our subconscious mind through repetition. That's why we never forget it. Or mostly we don't forget most of our the timetables that we learn. So teach these little lifestyle changes to your children, you know, how to breathe, breathe the right way, the power of your inhale, the power of your exhale, the power of your overall breath. And remember, inspire them with the simple knowledge that, hey, you can live without food for a while, you can live without water for a while, but can you live without oxygen for more than three to four to five minutes? The answer is no. So when we teach our children, rather than preaching to them or forcing them, but we teach them with understanding that, hey, without oxygen, you know, we can't live. That is how oxygen is for trillions of cells in the human body. And that's why we got to make it part of our life like brushing our teeth. 
Have a great week, everyone. I hope you all are having a great week, whichever part of the world you're in. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep. And remember, you care is all about you. I want you to practice box breathing and share with me how you feel. Have a great day.